Tamsin and Corey, this is a man who says he fled his native country of Bangladesh because he was a member of an opposing political party. He feared for his life. That's why he came here back in 1992. And he says he tried to do everything right, apply for political asylum, which was denied back in, in uh, 2009, rather. And he says he's been raising his family, trying to appeal that process. But about a year ago, and almost inevitably about a month ago, he says ICE changed its tune. Despite those check-ins, he's now facing deportation. It's going to be hard to raise money and, you know, just take care of ourselves. This is the stress nine-year-old Mumtaz Hassan carries with her. Fearful her father, Ghazi Sarwar Hassan, will be deported back to his native Bangladesh. Who going to take care of my kids? Hassan's worked as a store clerk at an East Orange liquor store for years. Patrons of the shop, who happen to include the mayor of East Orange, Ted Green, describe Hassan as a good man. And he always been an honorable, honest man in the community. And who would have known that me becoming the mayor would one day have to come to his defense? Their affection is why so many have come together at East Orange's City Hall in support of Hassan and calling for ICE to stop deportation proceedings against him. He's a law abiding citizen, tax paying citizen, has four children born in this country. Hassan has four children ranging in age from 17 to 9 years old. His wife speaks little to no English, and Hassan is the sole breadwinner for his family. Now, his eldest, Masrur, worries he may soon have to support them. If he leaves, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna get rid of the house, obviously. Obviously, I gotta do double shift. Uh, I guess. So you might not be able to go to college? Yeah, no more education. Hassan and his attorney both say he's regularly checked in with ICE, was granted a stay to his deportation order, even granted a work permit since his arrival to the U.S. But that all changed about a month ago. You are afraid to go back to Bangladesh? Uh, um, I am, yes. If I go there, is right where they're going to uh, arrest me and put in jail. ICE has instructed Hassan and his attorney that he must leave the country by August 1st. He has booked a plane ticket back to Bangladesh for July 27th, but before he leaves, he has one last check-in with ICE next week. He remains hopeful that the attention this case is just getting now because of the mayor and his attorney's pressure, he hopes that he may be granted another extension. In East Orange, Narmeen Chaudhary, PIX11 News.